Hey guys, it's Madeline. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here today with video two of the Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge hosted by Jessica on Paper Terrace. And if you missed my first video where I did my haul of all these goodies, I'll link it below. But I just wanted to start this video off with another look at everything I purchased for this challenge. She gave us some very loose rules, one of which being a $20 limit. And that is at $1.25, about 16 items. I have 15 items here. And I left myself one item in case I felt like I needed it as I started putting my journal together. So quickly, we'll go through what I have. I've got some trims some twine for binding. I have got some fabric, some paper here, the beads, um, eyelash trim, some rub-on transfers, my paper pack, sketch pad, file folders, coffee for coffee dyeing paper, um, these really pretty paper flowers, and some stamps, okay? So, first off, I want to tell you guys that I've already used my paper and my coffee and have gone ahead and coffee dyed some paper, which I have right here. Okay, so I've got a stack of coffee dyed paper that we're going to use for the insides of our journal. So, I'm just going to put that to the side, okay, for when we get, so we can get started. Now, also... I went ahead because I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to put this together. I went ahead and did my cover. Now I'm going to show you guys how I did this, okay? So don't worry. Let me get some of this stuff we don't need right now out of the way, okay? And I will show you how I did the cover. So I, as I mentioned, purchased this pack of file folders, okay? And what I did is I went in and I grabbed a yellow and a pink file folder already out, okay? And what I did is I took my yellow file folder, which I decided was gonna be my base, all right? And I made this journal, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, about 11 and a half by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 and a half by eight, okay? So I trimmed this down to 11 and a half by eight. So we'll grab my paper trimmer, okay? And I just did um, my eight here, which, worked out very well because it sort of cuts off the top and makes it more even. And um, I also went into 11 and a half like this. Whoop, that's 10 and a half, sorry. 11 and a half, okay. And cut a little off of here. All right, let me double check. Yep, that's it. Okay, so after I did this, I scored, I found my center and I scored a one inch spine on either side. I also went in and glued these two sheets together. Now, I wasn't super happy, if y'all can see, it's kind of a little floppy. I wasn't super happy with that, so I went into my paper pack, which y'all know I love these. And I'll just open it up right now. But the reason I love these is you get all these different types, textures, weights, of paper, right? And look at all these different colors. And I mean, oh, I didn't even notice that was in there. Cute. These are just, it's a great, great pack to have if you're a paper crafter. Um, anyway, so I went in here and I found this piece of paper, which can y'all see how thick that is? I just went in and I cut a piece and I put it on my spine like that, all right? And then I went and took my fabric, laid my fabric out, okay? And then I did my normal, you know, I cut it, cut the corners, wrapped it around, like I always do. And then I took my pink folder, 
right here and I trimmed my pink folder down and I glued it to the inside and I let it sit overnight with heavy book on top, okay? So that is how I uh, made my cover. And I am very happy with the way my cover came out. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for closure or anything else yet on this, but what I thought might be fun today, which I'm, I'm really, I can't even tell you how pleased I am with how the cover came out. Um, I thought what we might do today is maybe work on some ephemera and things to go in this journal because I have um, my little paper pack all out. So I've got this thicker paper here. I've got some glitter paper. I've got this kind of color. I've got some, um, like, I don't know, rectangle-y shape kind of paper. I've got this, like tie-dyed, which is really cool looking. I don't even know if that's tie-dyed or what, but it's really neat. I've got some that looks like this that's thicker. I have got some of these brown pieces here. Oh, and there's some black in there. I'm just now noticing. Okay. Yep. And then I have um, this big stack here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and grab out some of our items. I have my project box right here, and I have these pretty rub-ons. I have some stamps. I have got some this paper pad here, which coordinates really nicely with um, my fabric, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, of course. And I'm gonna go ahead and take those out in case I'm gonna use those. And um, also some trims and things in case I wanna add like texture to any of my decorations, okay? So basically, I'm gonna leave in here my regular paper, which I still can use if I need it, um, my coffee, and my beads. And probably, really, I can leave my twine in here as well, because I don't think I'm gonna use any of that today. All right. So, these are things that I am trying to still think about in the back of my mind is maybe something to decorate the cover, um, possibly something to decorate the insides, um, journaling cards, tuck spots, and things like that. So, let's go ahead and get started and see what we can do. I'm going to leave my cover right here. Now, I don't care if things are perfectly matchy-matchy, but I do want to try to coordinate, you know. And we will get started. Now, I mentioned how much I really love these. I just think they're so pretty. Glitter is not really my style, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one to the side. I'm probably not gonna use that. There's really not a lot of purple. I'm gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna keep maybe a piece of this, and I'm gonna put that over there, and okay, here we go. Uh-oh, hang on. I got my babies in here. Pippa, here, here, here. Here you go, Pippa. Here, 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 chew that, okay, okay. Sorry, guys. Oh my goodness, I got my babies in here and they're all fighting over raw hides. Okay, you know, it's never a dull moment with me. So, I want to start with this. I just thought these images were so cute and they coordinated so nicely with this. And this looks like this is sort of a, I don't know if y'all can see that, a dark brown right there. So I'm gonna take a piece of my, I guess these are the same weight, my dark brown like that. And I'm thinking maybe I could either make some journaling cards or something for the cover or I, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll just figure it out together as we go along, I guess. Okay, so I really like this image here. I think this one's cute. So I'm gonna grab out one of those. I'm not crazy about the owl with this, although he is precious. I love this bunny though. Oh my goodness. I am so obsessed with this bunny. Um, there's a cute fox here. So 
Okay, we'll pull out a fox and we'll pull out a bird. And let's see, what do we have left? Oh, Y'all, look at the squirrel. That's so cute. Okay, we'll just put him and look at this guy. He is so cute, this raccoon. Ah, these are so cute. Um, let's see. Oh, and the mushroom, y'all. Look at the mushrooms. Okay, that's cute. All right, that's cute to start out. Okay, so let's, we can use some other things. So I have my ink here. I've got my vintage photo ink. And I am thinking it might be cute to do something with these on our cover. So let me grab my scissors and I think to start out, and y'all, I am literally um, doing this on the fly. I mean, I went ahead and kind of pre-thought my um, journal uh, cover yesterday because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work out, if I was gonna have to go ahead and pull in my extra item or not. But um, I'm gonna do like a rough fussy cut of these here. And let's see. Part of the thing that I really love about this challenge is I'm probably holding myself a little bit stronger to the rules because I really want to push the limits of my creativity and out of the box thinking with only a few a few tools. So um, I'm excited to see what, you know, I can come up with. Okay, that's super cute. Okay, yeah, look how cute that is on there. And I'm thinking if we like backed it on here somehow and did some sort of maybe like layering. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Well, let me go ahead and ink this up. Okay, first of all. because this is rather thin paper, and that's also part of my thinking in getting this big paper pack, is that um, I knew I would need to back it, you know, to use it, because it really is very thin. I mean, very thin. Okay, and we're just gonna add a little bit of ink here on the inside. Okay, that's cute. All right, so let's see. Let's just get creative and see what we can come up with. Now this is pretty, I like that. Let's get out our burlap trim and see what we can do with this here. And we also have these flowers, which I think are so cute. These paper flowers, I have never seen these before. Um, we just get a few of each color out in the Dollar Tree. And so I was excited to find these, especially for this project. I feel like they're so delicate. Okay, let's see here. I kind of like these grays, this gray color maybe. Do like a little cluster of flowers in the corner there. Let's see. I really like this lace. I know I said I wasn't gonna try to like design the cover, but now I'm kind of feeling inspired as I'm playing and, you know, touching all the different trims and whatnot. Um, so, you know, that to me would also be so cute as a trim, wouldn't it? That's so cute to me. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's see. Do we want to put some of this right here? Um, let's see, maybe, or do I want to use some of this here? You know what? Okay, I think I'm going to get a flatter. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a flatter piece there. And I am just going to start. I'm gonna get my glue out. This is my trusty glue. And I am just gonna start to glue things down. And let me see, I wanna make sure this fits on my paper. I really like it going this way, actually. But, 
you know what? I don't hate it if it's coming off the edge a little bit. Let's see here. Let me take a little ink. Just um, ink up the edges here of this because I really kind of like that look. And y'all, this fabric is so soft. Love this fabric. Okay. Um, okay. There we go. Now. Okay. And that's a little, little wonkus, which sometimes when you get these paper packs, wonkus, that is a very, very specific term, right? You'll know exactly what that means, right? <laughs> um, okay, let's just trim a little bit and try to maybe straighten that up a little bit. See, it's time to change my blade, which would make sense because I've been doing a lot of crafting lately. Okay. There we go with that. We can have that there. And we'll do a little trim here maybe. Or I keep going back and forth on this. You know what? I think I'm gonna maybe go for the lace. Let's go for the lace. Okay. Let's trim some of this off. And let's get a better edge here. Okay. And then, okay, ooh, do we want some lace up here too? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Okay, y'all, I don't know. I'm just undecided about this. I'm just very, very undecided about what to do. Um, about what to do. Do y'all like that? <laughs> I'm not supposed to have any help. Um, let's just think about that for a minute. Let's just think about that. I just don't know. I guess I could take the flowers and do something else with them. I could turn this around. Maybe I would like that better and layer like this here. I don't know. Okay, now I'm liking this a little better. I'm liking that a little bit better. Let's see. What else do I have that I can pull in to make this journal topper? That's kind of cute too. Okay, I have an idea. Let's try something, y'all. Okay, so I guess essentially what we are doing right here is we are making a journal topper. All right, so let me grab, since I'm gonna be doing some gluing, let me grab this here. Okay, this is just a piece of like um, wax paper or something that I use when I glue, it's just to, to protect my tabletop so it doesn't get so dirty. And I'm just gonna cut off some pieces here of our trim. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do a little bit of glue here. And let's see. Let's put this down like that. Okay. Love it. All right. And then let's trim off this extra and Let's all say it together. Save your scraps. <laughs> okay, let's just trim off this extra here. Okay, good. Good. Let me get a dry wipe. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Now, I want to come down the sides, I think, with my glue. And here we go. And put some of this trim on the sides as well, because I really am liking this kind of rustic look here. So we'll just put some of this here. Okay, like that. Um, nice, love it. And then let's do this here. Okay, here we go. Love it. Beautiful. 
Okay, okay, I'm getting inspired. This is coming to bed together. This is coming together. And then let's do our, where is our piece of lace? We trimmed, oh, duh, there it is. Okay, and then let's do our lace across the bottom. Like that, maybe. Okay, let's just trim a little bit more off this edge. All right, and let's get some glue down. I think I said at the beginning of this video I was going to be doing ephemera, but here we go. We just, of course, took a left-hand turn <laughs> and went right into a journal topper. Okay, let's see here. Let me put this here. Okay, there we go. That's so cute. Okay. And then where is our main guy? Oh, now this, now y'all, this is coming together. This is looking cute. Now the one thing I do want to do though is, like I mentioned, this paper is kind of thin. So I want to glue this on a heavier piece of paper. Just set this to the side and cut this out. I think. Now you guys share those chewies. Why? You need to share. Uma, you have your own Chewy, baby. Uma, get your own Chewy. Let Pippa have hers, okay? Be good girls. Okay. Uma Rose. You have your own little Chewy, baby girl. I know it. She's so mean. Hang, y'all hang on a minute. Let me fix those again. Here, 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 look, here, baby, chew this one. Here, chew that one. There you go, good girl. It's a good boy, though. Okay, oh my goodness, sorry. Okay, so let's cut this out like this. Okay. Mm. And then we will re-ink it. And that will give us sort of a more secure, uh, stable image here on the front. And you know what else we can do with this entire thing is we can make it a pocket. That would be very cute to do a pocket on the front cover. Okay. All right, this is, this is I'm feeling good about this now. Okay, there we go, now. Can you guys hear them chewing? You know, little raw hides. Ugh, they're a mess, I love them. Okay. Okay, yep, that is very cute. Okay, now before I commit, look at that. So cute. But Pippa, you have your own. I now Pippa, you have your own chewy baby. Um I think I like all the I think I like this little grouping of three of the lighter ones. Okay. I know it. I hear you. I understand. But Uma gets to have one, okay? I'm, tell me about it. I know. Sometimes it's not very fair, honey. You eat your Chewy, and you also took Bobo's Chewy, but he doesn't seem to mind. Okay, you chew your own Chewy. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna glue this down right here, I think. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, this is so cute. Pippa. Here, baby, come on now. Y'all, share them. Share the chewies, please. Share the chewies. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get these flowers on and clearly I'm gonna have to end this video because my three um, doggy children are not getting along. Okay. 
but I am thrilled with how this is coming out. Y'all, I am so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this now. <laughs> I'm going to end this now. This, I'm going to let this dry. This is going to be our journal topper. And then we'll get started with the next part um, in our next video. Okay. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.